I started making out kind of like electronic music, synth pop stuff with keyboards way back in the day. Um, eventually I got started with the acoustic instruments just because I picked up the trumpet for the first time since I'd taken lessons with it when I was a young kid. And uh, it just took off from there. As soon as I had one acoustic instrument in my, you know, in my hands, I had to collect the rest and make a band out of it. Thank you. 
you know, the early recordings had very simple, straightforward influences, I would think. I mean, the newer stuff is, is a lot more complex than, I, than it, yeah. I mean, the other stuff was literally like, I would listen to a Stefan Merritt CD and be like, I sure would like to make a song like that, you know. So, it's pretty naive, I suppose. Yeah. The times we had, more when the winds would blow, they all show when I all bad. When we put our feet just where they had, had to go, never let it go. finished the album well before I ever played a show or met Jeremy and and basically he yeah I mean Ben Goldberg heard it after after Jeremy showed it to him and they said do you want to go into the studio and I said well I'd like to fix up the drums and we did that and that's actually all that's changed so the album that you hear is the album that I had done except for some drum tracks and uh, some strings <laughs>
know, it wasn't supposed to be some cheesy world music tourist kind of thing. Um, I don't know, it's really just about hearing something, seeing something foreign, kind of a barrage of something foreign. There we go. I've been wanting to live in New York since I was like 15. Um, I just need to be around that kind of a city. That it's it's just it's so on the edge of not even being in America anymore, not even being America. And uh, so no, I can see myself in there for quite a while. How do you see it being different from America? Like what, what what distinguishes that city? You know, this this is going to sound weird, but I, I swear it, it really just it's like I can walk into a bar in New York. And if I look like I know what I'm doing, they're not going to card me, at least in Brooklyn. And, and that to me is like, thank you, I'm off the map, I'm off of the U.S. And it's just, it's just something about that that also speaks so much more about that city. I mean, besides that, yeah, an underage kid can get a drink. I mean, there's just something about that city where all those nitpicky, crazy, conservative American things just tend to disappear. Out of it, it's because we are. <laughs> Too many paps. <laughs> Too far from New York. <laughs> Gosh damn it. <laughs> Didn't they tell you about Boston, guys? This is like going to Japan for us. <laughs> we never leave Brooklyn. <laughs> I went to Manhattan a month ago. As far as I've gone in a year. <laughs> and 
And this song is called Carrot's House. I wrote it about Coney Island, because that's in Brooklyn. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. people in the band were just close friends of mine from Santa Fe that I'd met over the years because they play instruments or through shows like Paul he, you know he used to throw my shows in Santa Fe in Albuquerque and, and that's how I met him now he plays tambourine <laughs> no I mean it's, it's all blind faith though they came along because they like the music and they all moved out to New York because they I mean well before the album was even out or known and uh, yeah
finally got to go to Moscow. Uh, the situation was pretty bizarre, though. Um, you know, we were only there for two days, totally jet lagged, a little hungover, and uh, we had a translator. I mean, it was great. I've always wanted to see Moscow, but at the same time, I, I can barely remember it. the cliche goes, you know, Beirut is the kind of the Paris of the Middle East. And I think that's fitting solely because it's this place where these two cultures collide, Western and Eastern, right in the middle, the same city, and uh, that tends to fit really well, so. Okay, the song is called Half of the Curtain. Oh mm -hmm. 
there's something missing in modern recordings. I mean, even when I went into the studio recently and it was it just came out bright and perfect and, and something felt really wrong about it all of a sudden. It's, it's not really something you can describe very easily. expect more of you than what possibly you can honestly give. Um, they expect, I don't know, it's weird when people know your name before you meet them and uh, not because a friend of a friend of a friend has shook your hand, you know. Yeah, I don't really know what to say about it.
Thank you very much.